The President aired in Jackson yesterday to call official failure. I want to urge the Professor, the President, that leadership is about maturity. Leadership is not about degenerating one another because you disagree. It's to rise above patience. I want to urge Professor Tisho, don't unnecessarily insult President Gainko. I want to call on President Gainko, as I said to him, I spoke to his gut, his intellect, and the man that he is as a leader of this country. Let bygones be bygones. All Namibian children that have the value to promote our social welfare is to come home. I'm ready to bring, to talk to these two men, to bring peace amongst them. No Namibian should be in foreign countries because we are fighting one another. Disagreements ought to be there, but sometimes we must rise above prejudice. I want to conclude by saying, and to answer this question, because I'm the only guilty, is this narrative being promoted that when I think like he's a writer of things, he wants to black the city, blah, blah, blah. Oh, really? I'm sure he have also followed it. This is the truth, and, and my staff's documents, my documents are here. I've never requested for a card from nobody. Never. No politician can request a benefit. The system doesn't work like that. A politician cannot go to parliament and say, I want a salary increase. No, it doesn't work. There is an independent political office for us commission. In its own volition, without even talking to me, under Justin Damas, in 2014, Commonwealth leaders of your level, this is the status that they enjoy. Do you know that my benefits were broke in 2018? I'm serving my second term as a leader of the official opposition. As we are speaking, I don't have a government card. I did not ask for a black Mercedes Benz. No. In fact, I asked for a Toyota. I refused the Mercedes. The Mercedes, those of you that go to Parliament will see the Mercedes standing there for here. I said, I don't want the Mercedes, I don't need it. My job is to do oversight. And oversight function would determine would, would demand from me to go to rural communities. So this thing that the president says, uh, what is this? He wanted to deflect from the real issue. And I tell you the real issue. In the budget, <laughs> government is spending 18.5 billion for the last three years on a property abroad. Now this property cannot be explained. Why are we spending this money? I put the challenge to him. He's the head of state. If it is a security property, Write me a letter and say, shut up and it's a security concern. But to let 18.5 million on security upgrades on a foreign property, it is demanding answer. And that is the deflection that was needed yesterday. For me not to answer this question, let me embarrass Fernandez. I'm not embarrassed. I'm not asking for a car. I did not request a favor from him. I don't ask for people for favor. And I know how they eat this country. Do you really think I can be bought by a cake in independence? A cake? While they are eating fish rod money, millions? They are already lining up the oil, that's why they are saying the oil is not yours. They are already lining up companies upstream and downstream. Do you really think I need a car so desperately that I go to the president and go pay for what? That's not banana. Integrity, respect is what behind me.